Many customers want to spend an exact amount when fueling their vehicles. Let's say 10 or 20 dollars and not a penny more, especially with rising fuel costs. But stopping the flow of fuel precisely on the desired number is not easy. Conventional fuel nozzles also make squeezing out another penny without going over very challenging. Until now, that is. Husky Corporation engineers have developed an enhancement for the nozzle's poppet valve, which in combination with the lever, controls the flow of fuel through the nozzle. The innovation is called a tilt poppet, or more precisely, the tilt poppet skirt, which allows more precise fueling than the previous design. This is showing the old poppet skirt, which is parallel to the poppet seal, Therefore, as you lift up, you're having to lift the entire seal at one time, and this does not lend itself to rounding to the penny. So Husky engineers redesigned the poppet skirt to have less material, which allows more flow with less back pressure. They also tilted one surface, so that when the lever lifts the seal to open the valve, one side is lifted before the other. Fuel flow can then start and stop more smoothly with very precise manual dispensing to the penny. So if you look at this side of the seal, you will see that it starts to lift first. So I'll just slowly, gently open it, and you can see how this side of the skirt, or the seal, is lifting before the other side. Again, allowing for that flow to squeak through on one side and dispense to the penny much better. What we're seeing here is the operation of the tilt poppet uh, basically barely peeling off of the ceiling surface and allowing just a trickle flow. Basically this will allow customers to round to the penny or the nearest monetary value which is extremely important in a lot of foreign countries where fuel is uh, very costly. A uh, customer only has so much money to spend on, that, on their fuel. The tilt poppet will make the fueling experience more pleasant, especially for customers who need to be precise. Contact Husky Corporation to learn more.